Hi, and welcome back to another episode of our Road to a Billion Dollars. We are in the year four of this journey, so still very, very early. If you haven't seen the, the series so far, you can just check it out on the channel. We got a lot of episodes and uh, a lot of content. <laughs> and it's going to be even more in the future because, yeah, this is going to take a really long time. I'm still, as you can see, not above 100k. <laughs> but after this fertilizing contract of field 31, we are going to break the 100k. And maybe you remember from the last uh, couple of episodes, the plan was to get the fields closest to our farm, just south of our farm. These two fields. But then this field, field 5, had canola on it. And I was like, oh wow, that would be awesome to get that. But it was 114,000, so that was a goal <laughs> for that video to get that. But we just didn't get close to it. We're still not close to it. 98,000, so we're not going to be able to get this field. But I'm thinking maybe one of these fields would be nice to get. Oh, they have sorghum there. That's nice, actually. We can harvest that. Oh, we can harvest that with our canola. Yeah, that's August, September, and canola is July, August. So I think actually that is a good idea. Was field 50 then? Yeah, that is still canola. That's an eyesore for me because I would love to get that. 114,000. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Too bad. And this contract is completed. 6,000. Nice. We do have some more contracts. Yeah, maybe we should do these as well. At least field 75. It's not a long drive. And while I was playing uh, offline, not recording, to just get some fertilizing jobs done and get the get our cash up a little bit, I saw a couple of tractors on the used vehicle store, and it was I, I was so tempted to buy one of them, but they were like cheapest, like 60k, and it was not like perfect <laughs> it's, it wasn't like something i really really needed it would be just a duplicate of this basically or actually a little bit smaller than this what i really want to get is either a small tractor that i could just keep on the farm um, and that could maybe go out and fertilize a little bit now and again or i would want to get a bigger tractor oh this is not the right field Oops. But getting a bigger tractor right now, it's like it's so much money because this is 180 horsepower and I would want to break like, I don't know, 250 horsepower or something like that. So I could just use a little bit of bigger equipment. There's no real use, I think, in getting a, a tractor this size right now. I don't think we have money to spend on just making something a little bit more convenient. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be... A small tractor even though i would love a small tractor but we'll see and i've i've completely gone into this with uh, the thought of buying a, a used tractor i'm not gonna be be able to buy a, a brand new tractor i don't think <laughs> that's pretty expensive a little bit too expensive for us that is that field finished great let's head back to our farm and uh, see if we can do something but uh, at our farm i don't think we can do anything because i have fertilized our farm i have taken out the weeds um, yeah Ooh, actually yeah now that i'm on this road i remember we need to water the strawberries yep or actually fill the tanks with water oh yeah by the way these fellas i can't i haven't said anything about this but i'm thinking i'm not gonna pick up these just for now because it's easy money to do that but maybe that i can have that as a last resort or something like that but i'm not gonna pick them up right now because that's it's not cheating but i don't know i'm not earning money farming i'm just running around getting statues and that's not farming to one billion that's collecting to one billion so i don't think i'm gonna do that at least maybe later i don't know we'll see but for now, let's get some water to the greenhouse. Ooh, maybe I should actually set up more greenhouses. Hmm, I got some money. Maybe I should do that. Actually, we should just check out the farm a little bit. Not a lot has happened on the farm, but I did, I did actually have to move the strawberries because they were f taking up too much space on the in the 
loading zone of this of the greenhouse. So the strawberries are here at the moment. Yeah, I've just put them here. That's it's six thousand liters per kind of stack here. So six, twelve, twenty-four, thirty thousand liters of of strawberries, and then of course we have a lot of strawberries there. So max, yeah, we have forty-two thousand liters of strawberries i didn't sell this in february this year because it was like ten thousand. i was like ah let's just hold off and i'll sell a big big batch for 20k next year i think that's gonna be the the play here yeah but let's get some water here into these greenhouses or greenhouse we only have one of them so far Actually, if we would buy more greenhouses, I need to get a bigger water tank. Yeah, uh, actually a much bigger, not just the next tier from this, but an actual bigger. Because this is taking a long time also. <laughs> it is nice, but it does get a little bit repetitive when you have to do it many times in a row when it's actually a little bit away from the farm but for now this is okay but if i do invest in, in bigger greenhouses i'm gonna keep that in mind to get a bigger water tank as well i think this is a third round here and yeah, i don't think we're close of filling it let's check here yeah we're a bit away nice back this up here again and you know what I remember I haven't sold this we got 13,000 liters of canola I forgot to sell it in December <laughs> it's May now yeah okay so uh, that's 13,000 liters we're gonna sell next year or this year I guess yeah with this harvest that we're gonna do in a couple of months okay we're gonna get a lot from that i can't imagine how i forgot about that i was just so into fertilizing and getting contracts done and just getting the money up so something actual interesting can happen on the farm instead of just me farming these four fields over and over again <laughs> yeah oh wow how did i park this it's way out there in the bush. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so let's see. We don't have a 100% yield bonus here, but that's because we haven't limed and rolled everything. We're gonna do that later when we have bigger fields and more area to work with. So yeah, this is 80%. And this over here is... Yeah, this is 95 over here. Yeah, so this is a little bit better, but... We need to lime and roll these fields. That's what we need to do, but we're gonna do that when we have bigger fields. Yeah. Otherwise, there's not that much to do here. I'm not gonna buy this field until it's harvest season, I'm thinking. And that is, yeah, July, August. So I can buy it in July, maybe when I'm harvesting my canola, and then I can just harvest it next month in August. Yeah. Let's check here if there's anything. Yeah, okay. Wow, this was not a lot of stuff here. All right. Any contracts? Oh, I haven't. That's 2,000. Thank you. Small field here. Nah, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I think we go into June. Yeah. Yeah, we might be able to pick up this fertilizing contract on this so we fertilize our own future field and get some money from it that would be really nice yeah i like that idea so we managed to pick up a fertilizing job here for 53 and then for 42 but not for 48 but maybe that'll come let's do this first nice that's almost 6,000. that's great i parked the tractor here <laughs> just by feet 48 to see if uh, we can just snatch this contract. So I'm just gonna fast forward time and uh, see if we can snatch it. It's morning here of June and it looks like we're not getting the contract. Uh, it's not popping up. Let's just wait a little while longer. 
Look, all of the fields here around 48 is fertilized. Okay, except 47 and 52, but nothing's planted there. And I'm just not getting the contract. But we did, however, snatch field 25 and 28, so I'm just quickly going to do those. Okay, that was that. Easy money. Nice. That's what we need right now. So we have... 120 if we buy this we can buy this now we got six thousand to spare Ooh, i don't think we have the money for that though but we could sell could sell some of the strawberries yeah we could do that even though they're not at max price they're not super far away but yeah maybe we'll see Either way, I need to buy more fertilizer. So I'm just going to buy two bags of that. Well, I didn't really need to buy it, but I want to have this stocked if any fertilizing contracts comes up. But seeing as I'm so close, or I am at 116,000 now, so I could afford the 140,000 field. 114, sorry. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just go for that. I'm going to repair the... I'm gonna repair the tractor as well. I don't wanna to forget to do that. I can repair this as well. 29, yeah, why not? And 351, fair enough. Yeah, so maybe I should just buy the big field for 114,000. Maybe I should just do that. And then just sell some strawberries or honey or actually just sell this 2,300. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Because this is too small either way. And we have canola coming in here in November that we can sell. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should buy it. I need to buy it this month, though. Okay, let's do that. Let's sell the, the small trailer. And then let's sell some strawberries. I'm going to pick these up instead of those outside of the barn. Because this stock can get full. That is 6,000 liters. And where do they want that? the farmer's market oh i need to be careful here though i did tip over once while driving with a full load here just moving the pallets on the farm so i need to be really careful not to drive too fast and don't take any tight turns do i just drop these off here no not not at this oh yeah i dropped them off here yeah there we go. Let's just watch these get sold. That wasn't a lot. That was not a lot. Hmm. Let's sell this one as well. We're up to 120 again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's sell a little bit more strawberries. Second haul. Let's go. Ooh. See, it was a little bit tippy there. <laughs> I think I can just park this here. Yeah, it's easier. So this should be around 1500 again. 14, 1500. Yeah, 1464. It is what it is. I mean, yeah, I could have sold it when it was a high in February, March. I think. Yeah, but I wasn't really planning on buying this field. But now when I actually have the money, it's going to be such a great investment. Instead of buying the smaller field with sorghum on it. If the smaller field had canola on it, then I might consider buying that. And also with that, buy like a new tractor or something. Well, not a new tractor, a used tractor. But seeing as that feel we we do have the money to buy it now and it's just so big it just gives us so 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 many opportunities to grow and i think that's the thing we need to do here we just need to buy fields as much as we can so after we buy that one we just do some fertilizing contracts and sell what we have on the farm and then we buy field 48 I think that's the plan right now. Just buy all of those three fields there south of our, south of the farm. Let's park the trailer here and let's get ready to buy some land. Let's just check it out before we buy it real quick. Okay, yeah, we got a yield bonus of 98. That's awesome. 100% fertilized. I think this is a great buy. 
great field. Yeah. Still no fertilizing contract on it. Too bad. Well, it is 100% fertilized now. Hey, when did it get 100% fertilized? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was... Yeah, I was thinking of this one. We're gonna have 7,000 left. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make do... I think the header goes for like 2,000 to lease. And I think that's the only thing we need to lease. And then we can sell some more strawberries if we need to. Okay. Let's buy it. Would you like to buy this land for $114,000? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Owned by you. All right, great. We got a lot of canola. We got so much canola here. Great. I think then let's just get to uh, next month and harvest this. Oh, it needs one more month than my fields. Okay, and just because we are a little bit strapped for cash after buying the field, I just picked up these three fertilizing jobs I'm going to do. I really like this farm, but it's just a little bit too far out. River Rock Estate, established 1925. Wow. I wonder if you can open up the, the doors here to the barn if you own this farm. It's a big barn. Ooh. And if you can open up these doors as well. Hmm. It's just too bad that it's... Uh, a little bit outside of the city or like it, it is on the edge of the map and I think that's a little bit too far away well, let's just fertilize their field here 12 and then let's get going to 63 and 59 and just collect those checks as well well needed after a big buy nice 5,000 Five and a half thousand. It's five and a half thousand. Straight to the bank. It's nice. Okay, I think that's it for June. Let's head over to July and start the harvest of these four fields. But you know, I've been looking at this space over here and I think we can do something better with it than just a dumping ground and this kind of swing playground here. That is not being used right now. <laughs> so the dumping ground here could stay as it is, but I'm thinking getting a home here. Yeah, I found this mod. It's 7,000. It's a lot of money right now, but sell this. Yeah, no value though. And I like how it's kind of fits here. Yeah, I like it. With a small path leading up to it and some seeding outside. Makes sense to have there on the grass. Something like this, maybe? Yeah. Great. Nice. Ooh, there's a wardrobe here as well. Nice. Oh, oh, you can actually go into it. Ooh, nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> this was not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we gotta cook. <laughs> oh, uh, that was fun. That was super fun. <laughs> well, we got a place to sleep at least. <laughs> Let's close this up. Oh, you, you even got... Oh, you got the bullet holes as well. <laughs> I didn't even think think of it. But yeah, this is the exact same. I think. Well, it kind of looks the same. Wow. Okay, what's in these barrels here? Okay, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, I like this. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, well, that... Yeah, that made my day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we were gonna sleep. Let's sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Ready to harvest. Ooh, yeah, I forgot. It's gonna be 4,000 to rent the header because it's two months. Okay, well, whoopsie. Oh well, we got strawberries. Oh, so this was 1200. So 
that's a bit better. That's 2,400 for two months. That's okay. <laughs> Just look at the trailer. <laughs> or camper van. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Oh god, that was so fun. <laughs> I checked on some Discord servers uh, on some tips on how to remove this pile of grass here that kind of bugged out and fell out of the mower. And they recommended the Paint Anywhere and Terraform Anywhere uh, mod, which I hope is going to work. If we just soften here, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Awesome. Thanks for the tip, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Let's get this harvest going. I don't think we're gonna afford a worker here, so we're gonna have to do this all by ourselves. But I don't mind. Maybe if we pick up a fertilizing contract, maybe we can find that this month. And uh, but maybe we can't because nothing is really getting planted. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We got 4,000 in, in our account, so it's gonna be tight, but I think we can do it. Also, I switched up now that I have uh, <laughs> now that I have that motor home there, <laughs> uh, I switched up. So we have three days of each, three days of each month. So I'm going to keep the speed going a little bit. It's uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just not driving around in daytime or nighttime. Just time becomes a factor as well. I don't think it's going to be a big factor when our farm is this small, but I would guess that when we own more land, it's going to be a lot more to manage time-wise. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how that is. I, I've never actually gone with a three-day month. I only ever gone with a one-day month. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to, to play like that. I like that, trying new things or tweaking stuff now and again here and there. I'm not sure which time scale I would want to go for, if it's five or if I should go even faster, but yeah, let's try it out. Five right now seems okay. Okay, let's get this out of here. 13,300 liters. I wonder how much we can actually fit in this. Let's see. Oh wow, Ooh, it's kind of full. Hmm. Okay. We will just see how this goes. Maybe we need to dump this off then at a grain silo just in the meanwhile, just so we can. I'm not sure how that works, actually. If you can just store it there. I think we can. I think I've done that, but I don't know. I don't want to be selling it, so <laughs> we'll, we'll just see. Maybe I'll do a quick Google. Yeah, this is 98% full. We're gonna... Let me just check this real quick. Okay, so... Turns out we can just store this at the, the train station silo, which I guess it's nice because then we can just rent a train and we can do that. Like I, I haven't done that before because I think it's a little bit tedious to rent a train and wait for it. Uh, it's nice to just go off and sell it. But yeah, then we can try that because that's the highest price that this actually goes to, that the grain goes to. Is it here? It's here, right? Let me just double check what's inside here. Oh yeah, okay. That's... It's here. Okay. The Fiat is, is actually... It's it's a nice tractor, but it's struggling a little bit. Well, not a little bit. It's a tiny, tiny bit with this load. But it's really good either way. But yeah, I would want to have a bigger tractor just to, just to future-proof the farm. Or plan for the future, I should say. Okay, that was everything. Great. Okay. Oh, great. 18,000. Nice. That's good. Okay, that helped us quite a bit. Then we don't really need to think about that. It is a little bit cheesy to do it like this, but let's just let's just imagine that we have a good relationship with the silo owner or something. <laughs> so they're allowing us to do this. Wow, I really need to refuel a lot. Hmm. It's not a lot of money, but yeah, it adds up, I think. And we're back at it. That's a great solution with the train station. 
I wonder how much it holds. Is it infinite? I don't know. <laughs> Can't be right now. Because I'm thinking when we have the money to buy a header, maybe we can just look at a little bit of a bigger header. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out in the shop later. See if it's compatible. I'm guessing it is. Just depends on the on the horsepower, I guess. We'll see. But yeah, it's easy to spend money in farming simulator. <laughs> Definitely. So we're done with field 44 and let's just dump this up before we get going with field 49. I wish I could make that a little bit bigger. The fill bar on the... I can just zoom in I guess. Yeah. It's okay. But it could be a little bit bigger. There we go, let's get this last field for this harvest, or for this month, not for this harvest. And then we'll tackle 50 next month. Yeah, see it's still growing here. Imagine having all these fields here with canola. We're gonna come to that someday. Oh, but this wasn't canola. Oh yeah, this was sorghum, right? Yeah, sorghum. Okay, that is that field done. And I think I'm just gonna park these here. Actually, park the tractor a little bit closer to the field and uh, we can get going on the harvest of field 50 next month. Great. Let's put the top on here. We can just park this here somewhere. That'll be fine. So we have easy access to it. So what do we get? 8,400 liters here plus yeah, what we got from the other fields. Can't remember, but to total we have, was it like 18,000 or was it 20,000? Do we have 28,000 or like 26,000? I don't know. Oh yeah, now it shows up when it's in a silo. Nice, it's 18,000 there plus 8,000. So max value 15,000. Oh yeah. And then the strawberries max value, that's 25,000. Oh God. Yeah, and we're gonna get more strawberries. Yeah, this is looking good. And we're gonna get even more canola. And we... Yeah, we're just gonna keep this. Yeah. Just gonna keep this header for now. Let me just double check here. I don't think we need to do anything else. Oh yeah, we should check if there's just some fertilizing contracts that I could do. Yeah, no, only that. So I'll fast forward a bit and see what we have. Okay, so it's August and we managed to snatch a fertilizing contract. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Actually, now that we have a contract incoming, I'm going to put a worker. I'm going to put a worker on the harvester to get this field going. And then we can come back and empty it after we have done the fertilizing contract. And I think this is what I like most about Farming Simulator when it comes to the gameplay. I like to manage many fields with some workers and doing some stuff on my own and stuff like that. So hopefully we can kind of get into that now when we have this field and we're getting some more stuff going for our farm. Let me just do one, one or two passes here so they're not driving in the ditch there. I think they need the worker needs some room to maneuver. Let's make a straight edge here for the worker. Okay, could have been straighter. <laughs> Should be fine though. Okay, so let's get him going. Great! Let's hop over into our tractor and get that job done. Oh, I hope that trailer down there by field 50 isn't in the way. I hope the worker doesn't complain about the placement. Uh, I don't think so. We'll see. Yeah, 1100, almost 1200 liters of fertilizing should be. Well, it'll be plenty. We don't really need to refill this right now. Okay, the AI worker has a full tank here in the combine. I've moved the combine, but I need to pop the top here. There you go. So this was a full tank for the combine, so we get like three tanks, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get three tanks. Maybe more than three tanks. Hmm, that's nice. So that's like 15k more or something like that. Wow, nice. Very nice. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get this started again and just catch 
the grain as he is driving just so I can fill up the last bit of that trailer and then we can go drop that off and then we then we can just go back here and finish this off oh wow he's backing over the crops nice yeah crop destruction is not on for AI workers that's good because yeah that would be a disaster that wouldn't be nice at all I think he's driving like 10 yeah, I think it's 10 kilometers an hour. Let's put it over here in the middle. There we go. Nice. Very good. Let's just slowly fill this up. Oh, maybe it's just better to go and dump this at the train station. I think this is just swallowing a little bit of fuel unnecessarily and a little bit of wear on the trailer and, and tractor. Not a lot, but maybe something I should be mindful of. Okay, it seems empty. Let's get this to the train station and he can continue working. Dumping this off here. So now we have 18k plus 15k. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 33k. 28,000! Yeah, that's nice. That is nice progress. Oh, we just buy that amount of money and the strawberries yeah we're gonna be able to get a header for the combine or a new tractor or a bigger water tank for the strawberries or actually we just put more greenhouses down oh yeah this is awesome okay we're back i think actually we can just take over this now so we got half a tank from the oh god no i'm destroying the crops i'm stupid oh look at that oh so he got a little bit more than half a tank that's nice okay and this is it everything is harvested 114,000. it's gonna take some time before we get that money back but yeah it's nice to have a proper big field now 10,300 liters. Nice. Oh, let's shut this off. We can put, put it down there. And just so I don't forget. There we go. Returned. Oh, and also, check this. Two tractors here. Obviously too much money. 65,000. But this? 23? Oh, it's too much money, this as well. But get a front loader attacher on this. 100 horsepower. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit. Ah, maybe it's not what we're looking for, actually. But this one would actually be nice because this is the bigger engine also. See? 175 is the smallest one. And then 220. That's the one that's discounted to 65,000. So that is really, really nice. I mean, it costs more to get the, to get the smaller engines. Yeah, this would be really good. But yeah, we don't have 65,000. 66,000 actually yeah let's drop this canola off at the train station silo and let's park up the machines and i think that's it for august 43 almost 44,000 liters that's max value of 38,000 in december so it's not long it's just a couple of months and we're there oh that's awesome that is awesome so we got a max value here of 50,000 wow okay Excluding the seeds, obviously. But yeah, 50,000. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm pleased with that. There we go. Everything is parked up. We got the wagon here, or the trailer, inside the barn. We're just gonna close this up. Oop. Nice. And, yeah, we need to do something about these fields. But I am thinking we're not going to plant canola here. Because I got a tip on Discord to plant soybeans. Because that is bringing in a lot of money, I heard. So, so checking soybeans. That is... Ooh, planting season here in April and May. Okay, so maybe we, maybe we skip canola. Because if we, if we do canola all the time, we can never do soybeans hmm or maybe we 
do soybeans on one field. Now nah, let's do let's do soybeans on all fields because now we're do we've done canola for quite some time. Okay, so I guess yeah, you just skip forward to April then. And when do do soybeans sell? Oh yeah, oh wow, it's twelve hundred here. That's great. So and that sells in June. I think that is it for August. Let's uh, let's go to bed. <laughs> This trailer, though. This trailer, though. You gotta love it. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, but we have a place to sleep at least. Oh yeah, because we're waiting here. We're gonna get big weeds that we need to lease stuff to get. Um, okay, to get rid of. Hmm. They can be used in the first growing stages of crops. Is this the first growing stages of crops? Is medium first growing stages? I don't know. You know what? Let's just see if we can weed this. I'm guessing it's going to come back either way before we can cultivate the land. Well, let's just try it out, see if we can pull it out with the weeder. It is a smallish weeder, but not the smallest one, so... I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, it's clearing some. Do I need to go two times? Ah, uh, no. Okay, this is not enough then. I'm guessing I just cultivate this. I'm guessing it goes away by cultivating, right? If we check here, this is medium. And this is partial weed, okay. Oh yeah, I'm guessing this weeder is just not enough. So let's skip that and I'm guessing the cultivator will handle it. At least let's <laughs> let's assume so and hope everything works out for the best. Okay, we got small weeds here in this big field, but yeah, again, we're going to do we're going to take this with the cultivator. Yeah. So I think that is it for this video. Thanks so much for following along this series on a road to $1 billion. It's going to take a long time. So be sure to, to subscribe and, and like the video and, and tell me in the comments if you're doing this challenge as well. It would be interesting to see how many people are doing this challenge. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.